Lionel Messi may return to Barcelona. Well, that's the news. We can't wait to tell you about that. So, let's go! Athletic Bilbao don't intend to sell Inigo Martinez to Barcelona. Playing alongside Lewandowski, we can do even better than our time in Dortmund. I'm sure about that. Aubameyang is quoted by us. Life gives me this gift. A chance to play at the camp now again and have this opportunity to say goodbye to the people as I would have liked," Donny Alves claimed. It's still too early for Karim Benzema to play the full 90 minutes in a single game. 45 minutes against Club America on Wednesday. Robert has come to us with incredible humility and adapted to the team very quickly. He makes us all better, me as a coach and the players," Xavi said. 4-0 win over Chelsea? Yes, but it's just a friendly match. Don't get carried away," Mikel Arteta said. Barcelona are obsessed with signing Bernardo Silva as Frankie de Jong's replacement. Barcelona understand that Memphis Depay has no place in the squad, so they want to sell him this summer. The Dutch striker would accept his exit if he is guaranteed the letter of freedom. Nice are interested in Levin Kurzawa. The 29-year-old Frenchman is likely to leave PSG this summer. Adrian Ragia will be preparing for the new season with Juventus U23 squad. The score doesn't matter during the preseason. Thibaut Courtois said after losing the clash against Barcelona in Las Vegas. Anthony and his agent, Junior Pedroso, are angry at Ajax for not moving forward with negotiations for his potential move to Man United, the mirror claims. 40-year-old Zlatan Ibrahimovic reveals his incredible shape on social media. Cristiano Ronaldo showed off his remarkable physique. The Portuguese striker is getting ready for the new season. Man City defender Josh Wilson Asbrand could leave Manchester in this transfer window. Some Premier League sides have made loan requests to the citizens for the 19-year-old but have been denied. Manchester City have come up with an alternative in case they fail to sign Kokorea. The citizens are looking at Stuttgart's Borna Sosa as a plan B. Paul Pogba has suffered an injury during Juventus training, but nothing serious. Manchester United are interested in Inter Milan wing-back Denzel Dumfries. The Red Devils have already entered negotiations with the Nerazzurri. Xavi wants Frankie de Jong to be a central defender in his squad. PSG have decided on a fee they want to get for Prince Kimpembe. They are ready to part with the French centre-back for 60 million euros. I want to win all the possible trophies with Liverpool, Thiago Alcantara admitted. Udinese fullback Molina is set to undergo a medical to join Atletico Madrid this week. The deal is almost done. Paris Saint Germain face difficulties in signing Milan Skriniar as Inter demands 70 million euros for their 27 year old centre back, even though he has only one year left on his contract. Fulham are targeting Wolfsburg right back Kevin Mbappo. Conrad Lehmer may join Bayern Munich this week. The Munich side offers 23 million euros, while Leipzig demands 30 million euros. Diogo Dalot is optimistic that Cristiano Ronaldo will return to Manchester United after missing preseason with family issues. Juventus have made a transfer request to PSG for Leandro Paradis. The Turin club offers 15 million euros and add ons for the 28 year old Argentine. PSG are about to make their third signing this summer. The Parisians are in talks with Leipzig to sign Nordi Mukiele next week. The process reaches the final stage. Chelsea star Cesare Spilicueta is confident of joining Barcelona. Mathis Tell posted a favorable message to Ren staff, teammates and fans as he's set to join Bayern. The transfer fee is 20 million euros and also 8.5 million euros in add-ons. The contract will run until June 2027. Borja Mayoral may leave Real Madrid in the near future. The 25-year-old striker is close to joining Hetafe. Lyon defender Jason Denier is about to join Torino, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. Liverpool don't intend to let Roberto Firmino go during this summer transfer window. Eric Ten Hag is expected to receive a 3 million pounds bonus if he guides Manchester United back to the Champions League. Napoli are in touch with the Brazilian goalie Neto. The club sees him in the squad.
Let's have a look at the games that took place yesterday. Moving on to the main news. Erling Holland missed Manchester City's first pre-season clash against Club America, which they won 2-1. In their second one, they played against Bayern Munich, and the Norwegian star was right in the starting lineup. It took Holland only 12 minutes in the pitch to net his debut goal for City in an effortless fashion. As it turned out, this goal was all it took for City to get a 1-0 win. Arsenal have annihilated Chelsea to win the Florida Cup. The Gunners got the job done in the first half. The first two goals were scored after mistakes by Chalaba and Mendy. The Blues later switched to three centre-backs, which allowed them to build up attacks better. But a slightly better performance did not prevent Arsenal from scoring third, with Saka adding his name to the score sheet 22 minutes after the break. Sambi Lakanga made it 4-0 with a late header. Their label Fabrizio Romano provides an update on Cristiano Ronaldo's messy situation at Manchester United. He has confirmed that the rumors of Ronaldo's return to Sporting Lisbon were fake news. However, the 37-year-old's mind is made up. He wants to leave United, despite manager Eric Ten Hag's desire to change his stance. United are yet to receive answers from Ronaldo on when he could return for training. In the meantime, his agent, Jorge Mendes, is still working on solutions for the superstar to leave Old Trafford. Mendes has already approached Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich and Chelsea, but neither side is believed to be interested. Reports in Spain have stated that Atletico would be open to a move if Ronaldo accepts a huge pay cut, but there has been no direct communication just yet. Frankie de Jong held a meeting with Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez to discuss his future amid the links to Man United, claims Diario Us. During the meetings, the Spanish boss made it clear that he is counting on the midfielder for next season, although Frankie must make an effort to be part of his project. That includes accepting a 50% pay cut, something which the Dutchman is willing to make an effort for. Both left the meeting satisfied, but now it's all up to De Jong to decide on his future. If he wants to stay, he'll have to reduce his salary or else will not be in Chavez's plans for the upcoming campaign. Frankie can see his wages cut down to around £225,000 a week, with bonuses if he agrees to the pay cut. Taking into account that he named Barcelona as his dream club recently and wanted to stay, it's probable that Frankie might accept the pay cut to stay at camp now. Barcelona and Sevilla have reached an agreement in principle over the transfer of Gilles Conde, Diario Sports' Ivan San Antonio reports. The Catalans will pay 50 million euros fixed, plus 10 million euros in variables for the French centre-back. This is below the 65 million euros fee offered by Chelsea, but, as explained before, Barca will be paying a higher portion of the fee up front, and Gilles himself has rejected the offers from the Blues. He already has a personal agreement with Barca for a contract until 2026. According to Gerard Romero, Koundé could be announced as a new Barca player between Sunday and Monday. I think, I hope that Leo Messi's story with Barcelona is not over yet. It's still open. It's our responsibility to make sure it has a more beautiful ending than it was. Joan Laporta has told ESPN, per Fabrizio Romano. As a Barca president, I feel indebted to Messi, he added. Leo Messi's current deal with Paris Saint-Germain runs until July 2023. It's yet unknown if the Argentine will extend it. The 35-year-old reportedly has called Xavi to ask him about a possible Barca comeback. However, it depends on whether Joan Laporta would welcome this possibility. Earlier, Laporta hinted at a possible farewell with the legendary Argentine in front of a full Camp Nou stadium. Diario Sports Albert Mansou informs that Xavi has asked Barcelona to make possible the arrival of Leo Messi in 2023, when his contract with Paris Saint-Germain expires. The coach has a good relationship with Argentine and thinks that despite his age, he could play a key role on his team. Xavi believes that Messi would help Barca in terms of creativity and goals. Besides, Leo's return would benefit the club financially. Barca are considering the option. They might like the idea of Messi finishing his career at Camp Nou. As per previous reports, PSG planned on extending the 35-year-old's contract beyond 2023. The Argentine star, however, is yet to make a decision over his future. 
Do your friends. Make sure to check out a new video on Football Club and find out how Darwin Nunez has already impressed Liverpool. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.